All right, I'm on the farm today. Got my John Deere 505 5D. Drink in the toolbox. Just put my equal angle hitch on. Right before that, I took the crone off this tractor. <coughs> There's my hay monitor. And we're going to go uh, hook up the John Deere 348 round baler. One of my boys is in our low field raking hay. And then we got a little flat uh, in another place I'll show you. And uh, we're going to try to bail that stuff up here this afternoon. It's a beautiful day today. The temperatures are cooler. We're only in the 70s. Seems like there's a cold front moving through. And uh, we got some breezes. I'm hoping our hay will be plenty dried out. If it's not, I've got hay preservative. I'm prepared to use that today. All right, so my son has raked this little small plateau if you will and uh, he just finished raking down there in my low ground we're gonna knock this out <clears throat> with the uh, John Deere 505 5D my 348 baler and number 42 pan kicker and uh, we're gonna uh, try to wrap this uh, side of the road up if you will as far as haying goes uh, I got some cow hay I'm going to bale over around my barn I think but uh, we got a weather window that's uh, advantageous to bale uh, this is the last day of it uh, we might have one more day tomorrow but uh, then some rain's going to set in so I wanted to finish this up this is some pretty uh, decent hay if you will so uh, let's get going to finish this little segment here and uh, my son's got another kicker wagon he's taking down and uh, we're going to start on the low ground uh, respectable showing for hay in here considering we didn't uh, fertilize so let me keep going All right, so I got this wagon. Actually, I got this one uh, pretty full. Lock that thing out. Set that thing up. 
pull the pin and uh, it's ready to go. Moisture contents around 10 11 percent, sometimes 9. Uh, this hay's not been out here but about three days from cut to bale. So, uh, for whatever reason, this hay's drying down a lot faster than what we normally see. Well, let me get another wagon and I'll keep going. So uh, finished this low ground and uh, went pretty good actually. The yield in here was uh, down in this bottom was definitely heavier than on my other fields. It uh, takes a while for the sun to get to it, and uh, you know the sun comes up over here and sets over that way. So it, there's a shadow cast in the morning and er, and, and earlier in the evening. So. Uh, I was concerned down along the edge of those woods that uh, the hay would be really uh, wet. Uh, the moisture, it might have crept up a time or two momentarily to 14%. I think I saw 16 one time just for a second. But for the most part, down along those woods, about out to that tree right there, 12% uh, was the moisture. And uh, John Deere Baylor did a fantastic job. Bales look good. One thing, uh, one thing about the bales here, uh, they're going to have a few leaves in them and a few little uh, sticks. Uh, we had uh, some high winds, and uh, these ash trees, man, they're killing me. But uh, I went around and picked up some uh, limbs, but. There's going to be a few straw-sized sticks in some of this hay and a few uh, leaves. Anytime you're baling hay around the edge of a field, it's just a given you're going to have some of that stuff. So uh, one of these days I'd like to take that tree out, those couple of trees and these trees right in here, and there's a stump way up there. And I'd like to kind of merge this whole uh, low field with this uh, west field up here and uh, kind of cut it and bale it all at one time. Uh, that would certainly be doable. So uh, that's kind of the video today. Hope you've enjoyed it. The John Deere 5055D, John Deere 348 baler, number 42 uh, pan kicker or ejector, as John Deere likes to call it, homemade kicker wagon. Beautiful day. Talk to you later.